guys, it is Tristan with Nerdette's Newsstand, and I wanted to tell you guys I was going to be live this evening at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but really, I wanted to talk just a little bit, and I will talk about this more on my stream, about the box office number as a follow-up to my Black Widow review. Now, we're going to take a look at an article by Deadline, and then we're going to kind of compare as to how they would have done with the greater scheme of everything, where they kind of place. And keep in mind, all of this is post-pandemic, so we're really just getting back to a point where we can call movies successful or not, depending on their amount of money that we actually see them, you know, kind of get. So, obviously, this is a Marvel movie. We knew it would do decently. We just didn't realize how well it would actually do. And that's what we're going to look at first on Deadline. Now, this article talks about, we're going to look at three different numbers as a whole, right? So, as a whole, taking all three numbers in, it got $215, or $215 million? Oh my gosh, worldwide this weekend, that's huge. All of these numbers are kind of record-breaking post-pandemic, right? So, breaking that down. Black Widow brought in 80 million domestically. People going to the theaters, 80 million dollars. Internationally, very similar, 78 million, which is still awesome and does not even include China. So that's really great. And then 60 million on premier access where you can go and you can spend 30 bucks. It's awesome. It, it, you know, if you have a big family or you want to just chill on your own, it doesn't matter flat cost, right? So I think this is huge. 60 million is about 2 million when it comes to who ordered it on Premier Access, which is probably about right, right? We saw numbers very similar when it came to the likes of movies on HBO Max or Amazon Prime. So I'm guessing that is, that's pretty good. Um, it's about average though, but it wouldn't be average had it not been there was also that 80 million domestic, right? So this is really, really big. This is bigger than what they expected, right? Some people were saying as far as basic domestic box office, 50 to 70 million, possibly, possibly breaking mm, Fast and Furious 9. And that was at 70 million. So I think this is really, really good sign for not only Black Widow as a whole, but for our economy, that maybe it's coming back a little bit and people are wanting to get out. So let's take a look at a little bit and compare numbers. So if we're adding in, which is only fair for the first weekend, we got to add in 60 and 80. So we're looking at, you know, 140 million. That's where we need to look around. And that's right around Guardian of the Galaxy Volume 2. Uh, Iron Man 2, Captain Marvel, it made about as much as Thor Ragnarok, beat Spider-Man Homecoming. That's amazing. That's really, really good for a, a prequel to begin with, let alone post-pandemic. I can't imagine it wouldn't be up there in the upper bracket, if not Age of Ultron style or Black Panther style. Like, that's amazing. That's still top Ten of Marvel movies post pandemic and a prequel for a character that should have had a movie ten years ago. I'm shocked at how good it was. Good, I, I knew it would be successful. Um, I think everyone knew it was going to be relatively successful, but I am shocked at how successful it actually was. How it blew away everyone's expectations, even when reports started coming in on Thursday that that day alone made $13 million, which is huge for even pre-pandemic. So this is awesome. We'll talk about it a little bit more on my live stream, but I did want to let you guys know I'm happy to see this. Honestly, I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was a great representation of when I say sisterhood, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I mean, Natasha and her sister, Yelena. I don't mean the whole uh, Black Widows as a whole, but 
I loved their two dynamic. I will post my review down below. So if you haven't had a chance to check it out, you can. But it was fantastic. It made me cry more than it probably should have. And I still say it's worth checking out. So let me know, of course, what you guys think. I will see you in the next one or in the live stream. <laughs> Bye-bye.